Good morning, here we are at Queen Anne's Battery uh, just after the storm that came through. So we're just about to head out on the 410 for a test sail. Um, I've got a winning crew on board, all part of my social bubble here at uh, Atlantic Yachts. Um, hopefully we'll get the drone up. There's going to be um, a fair bit of wind out there, but uh, we'll get the drone up, do some footage and uh, see what she's like out in the sea. Brilliant. See you in a bit. Okay, here we are inside the 410. We're out on the test sail. We've just done the drone footage. Uh, this is the free cab version with twin uh, heads. So we've got a heads over here, which is all the family, everybody can get to it. Heads. With a nice big shower inside there as well. Uh, we've got two off cabins. One just here. You've got your breakers, storage, lots of nice LED lighting around it. And then the second cabin here, which is the same size on the starboard side. And then coming forward here, we've got this galley. It's in the linear part of the boat, but you have got a U-shape here, so you can lean in, grab hold of things. So there's lots of areas to stabilize yourself. And then we've got a really big saloon. There's an option to turn that into a, a berth as well. And then coming forward, you've got the owner's cabin. So it's got its own ensuite, heads and shower. And then this lovely square large berth. The big difference between this one and the two uh, single heads version is this would be central in the bow rather than offset. And obviously it's offset to allow for the heads to go in the front cabin. But with this door closed here, this is a really big, nice size cabin. So it's in the teak, this one. Um, you can have it in the grey cedar, which is a much lighter wood. And you can have different floor colours as well. And the upholstery is standard in this one. So this is the sort of faux leather finish, but you can go for a linen finish as well. Uh, we've got this linen up upholstery on the bulkheads. Uh, this one's got the stereo system as well. Uh, we've got the gas cooker, full stove on there, top loading fridge. Uh, this one's got VHF, Fusion Stereo, Autopilot, and we've also got a, an Axiom 7 out on the helm control outside. Um, all these windows cover up, so you can make it nice and dark in here. Um, there we go. Uh, I'm showing you this. That's the full-size chart table. And down below here, we've also got the engine. This is the 45 horsepower Yamaha on shaft drive. Uh, this is a standard propeller, but you can go for folding drop as well. There's good access in there. There we go. We'll have a look on top next. <laughs> We've got a, uh, that's your anchor uh, chain counter. It's also controllable from here as well as up in the bow. There's the Axiom 7. All the controls are led back here. You've even got the front control back there as well. LED lights along the side of the boat. The big selling feature on this boat is these swept side decks so you can get all the way from the end up the side. All 
all the hatches are flush here, which is nice. We've got the windlass up the top here. A little bow sprit. This is in mast furling version on this one. We've also got a furling head sole as well. Um, we've got a fridge inside the cockpit table there as well. Teak finish across the back here, drop down terrace platform at the back there. But it is very nice to access the boat down these side decks. There's the autopilot there. There's an electric platform option. And we've got uh, an I-70 there. There we go, we're gonna head back in now. Pop the bow out of the water and then fit the bow thruster. <laughs> 